So, uh, we're on our way to Starbucks. Um, we're working on a catapult. Uh, when Ms. Gonzalez first said that we were going to be doing a catapult project, I found that that was kind of weird, uh, especially because I wasn't really sure what catapult was. Um, but it should be interesting. Oh yeah, and also for like the theme of our catapult, we could make the theme the office. I don't know how we'd make the actual catapult itself, but we could actually like come dressed up. Like, like in business suits. Strike a pose, hold it, don't move. Now switch it up and keep your mouth shut. Don't you say a word unless you say it with your body, baby. I suppose that you want to tell me something. But I don't want to hear it, let me see it. Put it in your hips and shoulders, say it with your body, baby. At this point, I have forgotten to take a video of us going into Lowe's and shopping for supplies. So, please enjoy the last couple of seconds of us buying and loading our supplies. Yeah. 
The Manganel catapult was invented by the Romans in 400 BC. It reached Europe during the medieval era and was used by the French. It was introduced to England during the siege of Dover in 1216. It was used to throw stones, fire, burning tar, poo-poo, and dead bodies with disease. It was the most common catapult used during the medieval uh, period due to its versatility and maneuverability. Yeah, but it was not very accurate. It had a low trajectory, but high velocities. Uh, the main use was to destroy walls and so they could enter inside them. Armies in the past were limited by the materials they possessed. If they had used stronger materials, like metal for example, they would have reached much larger distances. Metal today isn't as hard to attain as it was back then, so that makes it, makes it an easy improvement on the manganel. Stronger materials also make it more durable and long, longer lasting. So the physics behind a manganel is basically the use of an energy storage mechanism to rotate the arm. Uh, unlike a trebuchet, this mechanism is more direct. Uh, it consists of either a tension device or a torsion device which is directly connected to the arm. And the twisted rope that's usually used in older versions of the manganel is commonly referred to as a torsion bundle. And these are the arms usually launch at a 45 degree angle to shoot the payload at the best, uh, most efficient angle possible. Um, and the rope, before it's launched, stores a lot of potential energy and the release of that rope releases the kinetic energy to further propel the payload to the target or enemy. To get full credit. That's 25? Yeah. Wow, doesn't You definitely record this. 20? Yeah. All right. Oh. oh wow! Oh, <laughs> all right, <laughs> it's all or nothing. Dude, hey, huh? Dude, <laughs> it's bending. It is. I think. What's what's bending? All right, it's Three. all or nothing. Three. Everything we work for. Hey, that's pretty good. <laughs>